we're interested in adipose tissue biology and how fat tissue forms, how adipocytes form. We are mainly interested in the two types of adipose tissue that exist. The white adipose tissue that everybody knows, that stores the excess calories in form of fat. And uh, in recent years, or in the last two or three years, we have also become interested in brown adipose tissue, which is a second kind of adipose tissue, not very well studied, which burns energy to produce heat. We have recently shown, I think this was quite important, that white and brown adipose tissue can convert into each other. So this is obviously a very interesting finding because if you can convert white bad fat, if you want to call it, to brown good fat to, to burn calories to produce heat, that would be a major strategy to treat obesity. There is not a very, no, no very good drugs for obesity treatment on the market at the moment. All these drugs have targeted the energy intake side, so they control appetite, hunger, how much you eat. And if you can target brown adipose tissue, it would actually target the energy expenditure side. So it would target how much energy you actually burn. And this is a, this is a paradigm shift. So we are at the moment screening a lot of bioactive substances for the ability to induce brown fat. And we have some interesting leads uh, in that area, but nothing definite yet. So it will, will be a while before this can become usable. Uh, the award of the Max Whistler Prize is, is a huge honor for us because it's, it's a very prestigious prize with uh, excellent candidates in the last year. And it's, it's great because uh, it will allow us to actually go even more into detail into some aspects of brown adipose tissue biology. So, so we hope in the next few years to better understand how brown adipose tissue is formed and uh, the, our dream would be that we could find uh, candidates or, or leads that could, could then lead to a therapy to induce brown adipose tissue in humans and then thereby uh, treat obesity which is a huge problem worldwide and deserves a lot of attention.